exciting and new. Come aboard. We're expecting you and love. Life's sweetest reward. Let it flow. It floats back to you. An open smile on a friendly shore. It's love. Welcome to love. Oh, we're practically neighbors. I grew up in Forest Grove. You're kidding. You hear that, sweetheart? Oh, I really miss that place. My parents grew up there, and their parents before them. Well, it sounds like a perfect place to raise kids. Perfect. Do you have any kids? Excuse me? Sharon. Did I say something wrong? Uh, our little boy. Yeah. He was eight years old. Excuse me. How are you gonna know? Now, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Okay. Come on, Doc. Please. I'm busy. I'm short one passenger. Theodore Dennison, Jr. <laughs> I'm Theodore Dennison, Jr. <laughs> well, Mr. D, welcome aboard. Listen, you better tell your folks to hurry up or they're not gonna make it. Nah. Nah, see? Please. <laughs> folks aren't trying to make it. If they're back in Stockton. But it's okay. Hey, look, I I've got permission. What's it say? Theodore paid for his cruise out of his newspaper money, and he is old enough to travel alone. Signed, Mom. <laughs> look, son, I think we're going to have to talk to your parents about this. What's your phone number? Uh, I forgot. Well, what's your father's first name? <laughs> I forgot. It's obviously Theodore, since his name is Theodore Dennison, Jr. I forgot. <laughs> but you can't call Stockton now because the phone won't work till the ship's out of port. I forgot. <laughs> Excuse me. Just a moment. Yeah. Right back. Take time. Take time. Tell him we don't take passengers under 443. <laughs> can't leave a kid his age stranded in Los Angeles. You can't leave a kid my age stranded in Los Angeles. <laughs> I'd argue more, but we're sailing. Well, Mr. D, allow me to show you to your cabin, sir. All you select our particular ship for your trip, Mr. Dennison? <clears throat> well, uh, I heard the food was good, you know? You must have heard right. That's your fourth hot dog. <laughs> Richard, I'm sorry about today. You know, boarding the ship. Forget it. No, I just want you to know I appreciate you not mentioning it all day. Well, what can I say? I'm a perfect husband. <laughs> and you're a perfect wife. Let's have a perfect dinner. And a perfect evening. Perfect. Well, if you're a doctor, then how come you don't work in, in a hospital? Well, everyone at the hospital ate an apple a day. Mm -hmm. And that's what kept me away. Huh? <laughs> 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 well, 
I, I, I'm sorry. I got that migraine starting again. Sharon, you've got to stop this. You can't run every time you hear a little boy laugh. Richard, please. No. Sharon, we start now. If we don't, we never will. <laughs> Any clues on our mystery boy? No, it's still a mystery. I can't reach his parents. Stockton police don't know anything. And he sure ain't talking. Oh, see, that's because um, I have good table manners. Yeah. I never talk with my mouth full. <laughs> Maybe we better try his parents again. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me? Sharon. Years. We have to be thankful for that. Thankful? Why him? Why us? No one knows those things, baby. We can't stop living. That's a terrible thing to do to Terry's memory. We can't destroy the only thing we have left of him. Oh, Richard. How does it make sense to get hurt so much? for loving so much. Oh, Richard. I don't know, baby. I don't know. I guess nobody does. Yeah. Oh, I better get a sun pack. Half of the stuff is still in the bags. Yeah, no, I want you to get out of here and give me some room. Okay, okay. I'll have, I'll have a drink. Okay. I love you, Sharon. Don't stop. Oh, God, please don't stop. Rich. <laughs> He should be in his room, sir. Well, I just want to let him know what's happening. Mr. Dennison! Hey. Just the man I'm looking for. Mr. D, you are in a lot of trouble. You remember the captain? Hey, yeah, what's happening, man? Yes. Uh, well, we finally reached your parents, and... Well, they've been chasing around all night trying to find you. Theodore, you got them worried sick. I mean, they're not worried about me. They, they, they worried about themselves. They, they, they fight. They, they talking about getting a divorce. Hey, look, I figure if they splitting, I'm splitting. Mr. Dennison, you're a pretty gutsy guy, but... But uh, we think you should know that your parents plan on meeting the ship in Puerto Vallarta, and they want to take you back home with them. Hey, look, I got no home. When do we get to this porter place? Day after tomorrow. Well, maybe by then I have a home. I'll see y'all guys later, man. Be cool. Cool. Be cool. Oh, excuse me, mister. Uh, could I please come in? Come in. Thanks. <laughs> It almost got me. Who? Uh, 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 a kind of King Kong thing with fins. A nightmare? Yeah. Is it okay if I sit down? Just for a minute. Sure. I'm 
I'm uh, Theodore from next door. Where are your parents, Theodore? I, I don't have any. I'm alone. Who's taking care of you? I, I can take care of myself. I, I can handle anything except nightmares. Okay. You can stay here with us till you feel better. That may be a while. I'm a slow healer. Uh, why don't I order some milk? It's great for nightmares. I already had the nightmare. But how about some hot chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> okay. When I had parents, you know, like before, and I had bad dreams, my mother, she used to let me get in bed with her. Come on. <laughs> there. Well, you're gonna be just fine. That old monster wouldn't dare come after you here. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Say what? Good morning. Oh, oh, good morning. Good morning. Listen, can I ask you something? Sure. Well, would you adopt me? I I'm a nice kid, uh, affectionate, and, and and I work hard, and I had a paper route ever since I was six. And, oh, oh, and I'm gonna grow taller. Uh, Theodore, I... I... I'd be perfect for your kids to play with. That is your son. The picture in the room. Theodore. It's okay. Theodore... My son died. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Then we'd be perfect for each other. Well, seeing as... how you're kind of like orphans, too. looking pretty good yourself. You know, Theodore thinks you are very together. Uh, listen, hon, about Theodore... Isn't he something? Can you imagine a kid with his background, one orphanage after another, he still turned out great. Hey, Richard, with the advantages we could give him... Sharon, he has parents. Oh, he does not. I spoke to the captain today. He ran away from home. His parents are coming to pick him up in Puerto Vallarta. I see. And who paid for his cabin on this ship? He did, with his <laughs> newspaper route money. That's ridiculous. He just told everybody that story because he doesn't want him to know the truth. Richard, nobody wants him. He, he told me. His, his uncle in Mexico paid for the trip. Theodore is being forced on him because he happens to be a relative. He's going to be taken off this ship to live the rest of his childhood with a man who doesn't give a damn about him. Sweetheart, even if that were true, which I doubt, we couldn't do anything about it. Can we just see what happens in Puerto Vallarta, please? Okay. Thank you. Guess who's coming to dinner? <laughs> We're going to talk to your uncle. We're going to try and work something out. Come on. No way, man. It never take me a lot. I have tried everything. He won't come out. Well, it's kind of academic now. Nobody showed up to claim him. Nobody? Sorry. You got us. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Dennison, I understand. Now, uh, will you still be able to make connections? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. That's good. <laughs> Believe me, he's getting along just fine. Yes, there's a young couple on board who are spending a lot of time with her. Now, I understand. Now, so we'll see you in Mazatlan. Good. And don't worry, he's getting along just fine. Yay! Watch out for the sharks. Whoa. <laughs> I thought that was terrific. You're probably going to be in the next Olympics. Next Olympics? Yeah. Um, Mrs. Baker, well, it, it's an awful lot of words. Well, is it okay if I call you Mom? Just for the trip? Sure, it's okay. Who are you, Billy the Kid? Billy the Kid? Nah. And ain't you over here, Black Bar? something on his mind, but he didn't want to talk about it. We need to talk, too, Sharon, about Theodore. Oh, Richard, if you're going to tell me again how his parents missed the plane to Puerto Vallarta, I really... Okay, okay, we're in Mazatlan now. Do you see any parents? Uh, there's the steward with our lunch. Hello, Richard, Sharon. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dennison. They're Theodore's parents. I do. Hello, please come in. Mr. and Mrs. Dennison, I'd like you to meet the Bakers. They've been very nice to your son. Thank you, thank you very much. You've been very kind. Go away. I don't know who they are. I swear I don't. Theodore, don't you think you've hurt your mother enough? She's not my mother. Not anymore. You don't want me. Neither one of you do. Hey, Theodore, stop it. Listen, we've got ourselves together. And we know you heard us fighting. And that's why you ran away. But everything's fine now. We love you. Come back home. Somebody now. Uh, Theodore, you uh, you remember I was telling you about my son and how he went away. Yeah. 
I want you to know what that's like for the parents. They can't sleep at night because they lie awake thinking about their lost little boy. And, well, um, um, every, t every time they, every time they turn around, they see his face. And every time they hear a child laugh, they hear him laugh. And, and they wish, and they wish that, um, he'd come back again so they'd have somebody to love. <laughs> so they could tell him just once more how much they love him. <laughs> go with your folks, because they need you. Hey, they need you. Hey, stop it. Honey, they can't make it without you. You go on. I'll tell you what, we'll do it when you move back home to raise your family. Well, that'll probably be a while. No, no, Julie, you have to hurry. See, our kid's gonna need someone to play with. I never did want to adopt, but you know how women are. <laughs> Got this crazy idea that kids are kids. You can't tell a woman anything these days, I'm bad. <laughs> Good luck. 